Welcome hey. to our fifth episode of In the Garden. Joe's been strimming. You got Max up in the face. Joe's been well, strimming uh, the garden. He gave it a right uh, shearing. Good haircut. Because we haven't really been out in um, about a fortnight, not properly, just to water and stuff. But we haven't done any big gardening for ages because we've been hiding from the heat. Yeah, it's been pretty hot. It's been hot, but it, last year was hotter. There's a lot yeah. of hype saying that uh, the hottest year in you know, a quarter of a million years or something, but it hasn't been really. No. We've, four, had, we've four months of heat. Last year was. Last year, we've only had, honestly, the you, fortnight, a week and a half of fortnight yeah. in fortnight. together. And then it was And really we're nearly the end of July now, so. Like, yeah, exactly. Six years ago, I remember it was really hard, but yeah. like, yeah, I don't even say, it's just, it was crazy. It was really hard for So, um, so yeah, we're here in um, our little mint, um wild mint uh, field it's here fl flowering now. they're starting to flower um we'll have to do a zoom in shot of the purple guys in a while they are just the prettiest little flower they're so cute and what we did last year for the first time actually is we plucked it takes a lot of patience but we plucked all of the um flowers we put them in was it vodka or gin i can't remember i can't remember now it's it was vodka <laughs> And it was so nice, guys, with apple juice. Do you remember when we had the apple juice mm. mix? The Lovely. apple juice from the guys. It was really refreshing. Down the road, Fruit of Promessa. And um, oh my God, it's like the nicest summer drink. Yeah, so, we're constantly like, discovering new ways to just use things that people might necessarily think are, you know, waste or things you wouldn't normally use with a plant. Like um, even in the winter, like broccoli, the leaves are even, yeah. even more nutritious than the heads themselves. And things like and that, like cauliflower leaves and all that kind of stuff. So just just, just keep investigating. Just keep looking up things and you'll find that you can use you know, a lot of parts. If, if, a, if a plant is edible, and quite often the leaves and, and it, uh, other and it's parts are And not nightshade. Well. No, I've seen our tomatoes. Or um, uh, uh, potatoes or... Um, yeah, or rhubarb melanzade. leaves or any of that kind of stuff. What's that? Eggplant or aubergine. Those guys are in there. Yeah. So speaking of aubergine, yeah. um, well, first of all, behind us i don't know if you can see on the camera these are the little baby zoo cave on the last video we just planted these like two weeks ago um just before the heat and they're doing so well they're so nice yeah, look really at well. this this is just this is exactly what you want them to look like they're super happy puppies super happy chappies and um they're all in a regular row and they're yeah. going to go and take over the mint once we've taken the mint flowers so um i'd like to show you guys these famous Matita melanzane, which mm. are pencil aubergines. So, like, they come in all sizes. You can pick them when they're this big, so like a kind of broad bean vibe, or... <laughs> you can wait until they get a bit bigger, like kind <laughs> of banana, banana size. <laughs> but either way, they're very handy because, you know, Francesca is a cook in, in the house, but... They're very easy to like chop and you know, slice so and dice and just you don't have to peel them to peel them and they don't so. have big seeds or they don't have they and they're delicious and the more you pick right. the more they come so that's we love plants that you pick more and yes they haven't more. just got one oh, one go so you pick like a big guy yeah? no, 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 no. have it just there oh, a lot easier to cut them. oh no look what happened well because the lawn went a bit crazy uh because we, we really didn't and also the strimmer was uh not in use a lovely Luca let us borrow his uh, today. So, oh, the best fancy. So the slug, I'm guessing this is a slug. I don't think it's just gone rotten by itself. But guys, slug update is pretty exciting stuff. We haven't had any, like we've had none. I've seen two snails. I haven't seen one slug. Now, maybe it was the sawdust and it gave them splinters or maybe it was the heat or maybe a combo of both, but um, we are so excited that our plants are slug free. I'm going to leave that guy get a bit bigger. Look at the baby, so cute. And aubergines have the most beautiful purple flowers. They really are gorgeous with the little yellow in the middle. They're so yeah. nice. Yeah. Um, I'm going to leave these, this guy get a little bigger. Okay. These two, these, these as well, it's a... Um, no, we'll leave them, we'll leave them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, leave them. Oh, sorry, sorry, darling. This guy maybe? No, I'll we'll leave oh, him. Just pick you the big pick guys. your banana. Yeah. And if there's any more on the other side, but they're so fruitful. And as anyone's ever grown aubergines before, they really, the plant gives you just a few and they take forever. So uh, this is so great. This one's just flowers. There's maybe not getting enough, oh. as much sun. Well, I will pick this one then, so, so we've got enough for dinner. 
I'll do something fun with them tonight. Okay, I should have already worn my gloves, it doesn't matter. And then we've got tomatoes to report on. Yeah. So, is there any tomatoes to collect? Well, no, not know. today. They're turning. There's some lovely lush bunches of shiny tomatoes, which is still a bit green yet, but these are starting to turn down here. This guy says it's variety, red. and there's a couple over there. Oh, there's one on the floor. Oh, he should be nice and sweet. Thank you. Oh, he's so cute. And there's a few over there. Oh. I'll put him there in our makeshift truck. Be long. Um, no, the tomatoes are looking beautiful. I'm really excited about them. And our sage has gone wild. It looks fantastic. I'm delighted with the sagey. Monsieur sage. Yeah. And you don't really water the sage that, that often. It's a very hardy yeah. herb. Like a lot of the, the dry herbs that uh, you know, can grow on rocky areas. So, if you guys have a look over here, mm -hmm. these are the other kind of tomatoes got that we got. I believe they're the Piccadilly that Deborah told us about. So they're a bit bigger and a bit rounder. Oh, here, yeah, here's, here's here. a lovely bunch of this. Oh yes, there. gorgeous Joe. So they're massive. So there's, you know, for, for small um, tomatoes, but uh, they'll, they'll get ready in the next week or so. And then there's some very nice round ones here then as well, which are nearly ready, they're orange. So um, obviously in Italy, we don't need a, a polytunnel. Yeah. Uh, everything grows out in the open. So, but if you do have one like our neighbors, then it extends. Yeah, then extends your growing, growing season, season and by about two weeks either side. So what else, can we have a, a, a cucumber report? Yeah, cucumber report. These guys have not grown as fast as they did last no, year. I think that maybe because they're on the yeah. border, they just needed a little bit more, um, a bit more food. So yeah. we have some. I mean, there's some here. Oh, that's been. Has it been nibbled? Been, no, he's been cut with the strimmer. Oh. So he has some. Must your strimmer took him? Well, this guy's yeah. kind of hilarious. And this guy as well. I'm sorry. He's that's just such okay. a that's rush okay. today. You did but a great strimming job. Thank you. Eaten. And then and this I'll... guy here. I don't know if you want to. Yeah. Yes. Grab him. Yay. It'll encourage the plant to produce yeah. more anyway. So they, they're um, they're looking a bit smaller than. Yeah. you wanted but it's okay i mean they're growing quite healthily and they're climbing very well as you can see the little tendrils look just all hanging on and growing but uh they're a bit young yet there's another baby one down here let me grab this guy to string him up Come on. Come this way. and then another thing that's growing here is these beautiful yes. spicy peppers I so don't know what type they are, Jen, to be honest. Do you know? I don't think the jalapeno. Do you remember we grew a whole load yes. last year or two years ago? So these gorgeous little white flowers. Oh, so nice. Get kissed by a bee. Mm. And then turn into these beautiful chili peppers. So we, at the end of the season, gorgeous. we just uh, gather them all up and dry them out. And they just sit in a jar and you use them wherever you want. And look at these. these this is the ridiculous. Piece. These are the bees. Last year our zucchinis were not, well that's a marrow. <laughs> it's now turned into a marrow, so I'm going to twist that off. Thank you, my love. And we, good, you know, yeah. uh, we haven't been here for, out for a few days, so that's one that's going. Oh, sorry, let's throw that away. But basically, you want to try and keep on top of them, so so they're small, so you know you can get through them a lot quicker. But that, that guy got a bit out of hand, and there's another one over here. Um, over here. These, by the way are the other zuke, the other, um, the other squash. So you can see this is in the best aspect here. It has like morning till evening sun all the way day through. So compared to the guys we showed you at the beginning, yeah. these are absolutely massive. They're already crawling like crazy and every one of those flowers will produce a zuke if they're given enough time, moisture and heat. As we said guys, um, you can eat every part. So, a massive one here. Oh my gosh, well done. Well, that's the fun with these kind of plants is we have surprises, thank you. There you go, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> and I don't know if you want to pick these ones or leave them for now. Oh, what do you think? Sure. Maybe another day, leave them another day. We'll leave them another day, yeah. okay. And our fruit garden, our soft fruit patch is no more. It's, yeah, um, we've had the raspberries peak. Yeah, the red currants, white currants, done. The mm -hmm. raspberries, oh my God, Jeff. What? You were talking about oh. going there. I thought I you'd see them. Two no. days ago, I thought you went and stripped it. That's crazy. Yeah, I did strip it two days ago. Oh, no, no. Nice. So we get to have a lovely oh, surprise. Lovely. We'll leave it tomorrow morning. Oh, we thought that was it. Oh, look, perfectly ripe and everything. Well, should we just have one each now? I'm going to. I'm one for the behind scenes guy. Give that big one to try. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. my God. What a lovely surprise. Great. So tomorrow morning's breakfast will be sprinkled with raspberries. Hey, darling. 
got a couple. Oh, very nice. Yeah, that's kind of the, the color that you want, the really dark. Yeah. Actually, they're the sweetest. So, oh my God, you have one? Good. Yeah, they're good. Oh, mm. they're good. Oh, what a lovely surprise. What? I didn't even know how that happened. I thought the raspberries had peaked. The garden always surprises you. You never know. Yeah, maybe there's a second coming then. Yeah, a second coming of raspberries. Of raspberries. And look, black, few blackberries left over here. You think there's some? Oh, good. I thought we were done. Let's have a look. Well, there's the odd one here. This one. And there's actually quite a few red ones mm. coming through. So I think we're going to get another oh, burst. Oh, cool. That's what we were done. Yeah. That's a lovely surprise. Oh, look. Oh. That's, that's definitely right enough. Oh, it's two little ones. There's three. Three, perfect number. Mm, no. It's a little over. Okay. So, yeah, and the gooseberries, gooseberries. The, the black mm. gooseberries. Red gooseberries or black gooseberries? Uh, red. Um, yeah. Seem to have finished, but the, the, the plant has that grown is about good. three times its size, so we got loads again next year. And the other guy as well. They're both looking really good. We lost, we had four originally, but we lost two. But um, maybe it's best just to stick with two. And we were um, away for a couple of days, so we didn't water yes. the rhubarb, so it got a little bit limp. But I watered it today, so it's coming back a bit. So it's a nice, healthy stalks Can't wait that are turning red. Anything. So we'll be able to definitely have some rhubarb pies. Rhubarb tarts. That's Jez's favourite yeah, from his favorite. mama. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I don't know um, if I'm going to get the table? Tart, but um, I'll try. Table? Yes, I just love the garden. You, you cut it all, it just looks so nice. Yeah. I mean, it looks a little, a little bit rough, but uh, well, when it's right. just first trimmed, but in a couple of days it'll be. So, Jed cut the lilies. That was a bit of um, a shock for me when I came out, so I didn't know that the lilies were getting a haircut. But he's right, they don't look great when they're kind of half brown and, and half green, so they should kind of come up again. They did last, remember last year, I was yeah. kind of surprised that they come up so beautifully. So, um, so our, we do the tables first and then the pear yes, trees? Yes, our gladioli are nearly finished. There's just a couple of pink guys mm. there. Do you know about the rosemary, look? Rosemary is beautiful. He was, really, really He healthy. was looking not bright, great. The sage is my favourite, mm. sage. So for roasts, the absolutely sage. delicious. Beautiful, sage is just, never looks so good. We cut back a lot of the brown stuff in the spring. That had been, you know, had had low temperature, so it wasn't too happy. But uh, now it's just come really come on now. I swear, I swear to God, maybe you could count on one hand the amount of times I've had to water it. It's just great, lovely. Yeah, spread those seeds. Spread These those are Aquilegia, I believe, if I've got the name correct. Um, let's get the dead ones out. Mm. And these have just such pretty flowers in in spring. And um, that's just always spread your seeds, guys. So give them away. Actually, I'll leave a few to to give away. Yeah. And these. Um, these marigolds, I can't remember. I don't, I don't think they're marigolds, but they're a variety. Marigolds, they're, they're, a variety. So they're, they're open in the middle, but we got, they're there. They've gone crazy here. We got gifted this, oh, lovely mozzies. Um, two years, oh, Jesus. Uh, we got gifted them two years ago. Um, we went to this kind of, um, God, it's like a, we should go one time, like a commune kind of place to show you guys. It was, um, it was very interesting, kind of collective in the mountains. Um, and the, the lady gave us some of them. Give us one plant and it's just taken over. So that's great. Our celery has gone to seed. This is our uh, wild celery, mm, which delicious. we got from a wonderful friend. Who a Romanian us, friend. Yeah, yeah, a few years ago. And she and said- It's so strong. It's such an unusual taste. Yeah, it was delicious in uh, scrambled egg or all kinds of eggs. Yes, we had it last night in scrambled and yeah. I didn't use the leaves. I sent Jer out for leaves and there were none. So I used, and not the immature flowers, which I would have thought would be tastier than the seeds but i use these guys the actual seeds and mm. oh my god it was so good and i grated zucchini courgette so i grated courgette cooked these first in a bit of butter and olive oil then grated the zucchinis and then put the egg in and just have a bit of a twist and then yeah okay, so could you look at the pear tree then because it's close oh yeah let's look at the pear tree and then the table you're right we'll finish them too this pear tree we were going to cut it down two years ago yes, because yeah. Pears can be awkward in terms of mm. pruning compared to like, you know, cherries or apricots or whatever, which you can usually just wait until they're asleep and then cut them back. Even though he actually looks beautiful, yeah. Peter, I think. Mm -hmm. But Peter, our friend, the yeah. Alborus, who we'll be interviewing soon. Yes. Uh, he, um, 
he just gave it a tiny trim and just tied up a couple of the ones so that there's one one main, you know principal branch at the very very top pointing up just like the trees over there yeah and these are they're more like cooking pears to be honest yeah, but, they're, but we can make we're going to try and make yeah. jam and obviously cook them down as um stewed uh yeah, pear. some red wine maybe from our neighbors who make their own wine yeah but it's absolutely full like it's full of pears this year so it's fantastic Top we will be really visiting good. our neighbor piera for eating pears and she has yes, absolutely pears pears are literally yeah, you the pick them you pick them off the, in the, world. the tree and eat them like immediately she's a very absolutely old tree. delicious so we'll go to here yeah oh do you want to see the peach and very quickly yeah. this is our kind of this is our compost, compost um, area area and you can put a baby in there actually if you look baby peaches which will be very small this guy grew up this guy grew up yeah. like five years ago by himself and yeah, Jay left by himself so i left him alone and now he's producing little baby they're not ready peaches. yet but yeah. last year we had a couple didn't we yeah so tasty because they're so small that the uh the taste is concentrated really well oh ladybird okay. you see the ladybird oh he's lovely um yeah they, as you said joe they're not juicy they're kind of I want to say smooshy, yeah. but I don't know if that's getting the, the feel across. They're kind of that's just loads, look. dry, but really soft. Yeah, there's quite, quite a few. Well, I was very happy there, because it gets the compost. Yes, <laughs> it's totally spoiled. Yeah. So now we'll just go over to the tables to finish off, I suppose. Yeah. Well done, Dave. Great job. Thank you. Um, in a couple of days, it'd look a little bit better, because, you know, maybe after a rainfall, and then everything will be washed down, but the mint is very happy, the zucchini are very happy. And the fruit trees, great, the raspberries will come again. <laughs> Can't be very raspberries, that's very exciting. Uh, careful the wire here, folks, I'll screw up when I was streaming. And this is um, a mixture of, do you want to say something to them? Well, we've actually got a few things here. Yeah, we've got, well, first and foremost, you planted the... Uh, the Costa, which is, um, that's Swiss the chard. Swiss chard, but we did a, some this thing called um, chicory. Now chicory, you can eat raw. I'm picking it now. You can eat raw or um, uh, cook it. And um, I actually don't know too much about it. It's our first time growing it, um, but Piera grows it every year. She does like a cycle now, like a quarter of an acre of it. Um, but what great thing is you keep picking it and it keeps coming. So it's, again, it's one of these things that you don't have to pull the whole plant, just keep yes. picking the biggest leaves on the outside and it keeps producing, keeps producing well, all I'm, season. Well, I'm interested to do this chicory root coffee business because, um, you know, I'm a recovering coffee addict. I kind of quit five years, six years ago and then didn't have it for a few years, but then, you know, you're around the Italians and it's, it's a bit like Mrs. Doyle from Father Ted. They're kind of, go on, go on. And you don't want to seem rude. So I kind of got back into it the last few really months. The last few months I kind of had a few bits and then like, what, stopped in the middle of the heat wave. And that wasn't really great. But um, so we try, coffee's like so delicious here that it's nearly impossible not to have it. Um, just not, you know, for me personally, I can't drink it. Well, either of us can't drink it regularly. Um, anyway, what was I going to say? So then we've got the Costa. So over here. This is the Swiss chard. This is we got a few I've different just, colours. Just watered it now, so it's, it's, it's falling over a bit. Yeah, but look at this bread. The red ones, oh. and you have the normal kind of blondy ones, and they're just delicious. This one of my favourites. And then, then we have raw and, and cooked as well. Now look, guys, this is really exciting. We've never grown fennel in the table before. We've only grown it twice before, um, and we grew it um, late. So this is our earliest we've grown it, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. So I'm really intrigued to see what that tastes like. And you can eat the tops and make tea from them. And... Oh, I can... oh, sorry, They Danny. are still producing, but they're small. So we'll see if those uh, mature and we get a second crop of figs. That'll be cool. Honeysuckles from Pierre's, the last of the honeysuckles. They smell amazing. Um, no, sorry, Jasmine. Jasmine, sorry. They smell amazing every year. And um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Yeah, well, should we show the grapes just even yes. though we haven't? Um, no, we did that earlier, didn't we? I well, might as well just pop by the grapes. There's a lot of figs, Jeff. Yeah. yeah. A lot. Great. And the beautiful flowering up. Oh, so nice. Oh, and we found a, um, what's it called? A hawk? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. A hawk moth in the garden. 
So we've already done a little bit on this at the beginning, but it's just so nice to see them. These beautiful grapes. Mm. So, shall I still want to? We just have so much. We might take two. This year. See if there's one for the cameraman. <laughs> Here for a bit of energy after a day streaming. Oh my god. So that's it, guys. Pour yourself into the garden. Yeah. You don't need to break the expert syndrome because we only found by trial and error. And you make some uh, mistakes every year. And if you're growing without nasty chemicals and stuff, obviously you're going to lose maybe, I don't know, 20% of your crop just naturally. But um, as long as you do crop rotation, move everything around. Yeah. Everything. Uh, we're trying the non -dig, the no dig method yeah. at the moment. This is what we did this year. Because fully. all of the, um, my, what is it? My, my Mycelium. Mycelium. Yes, I think so. Basically all the fungal pathways Roots. and they communicate underneath the soil. And if you dig, if you do a complete dig method and completely overturn the soil, you break up all those connections. So um, we're trying a, a different technique, which is a no dig method. So you only dig where you're putting the actual plant in and then keep all the network of communication underneath the, underneath the soil intact and uh, so, and so far so good keep it wild keep it wild yeah, yeah. i've been reading that a lot about keeping weeds under yeah. you know under control and what is a weed it's just a plant you haven't decided to put in that position yeah. if you completely <laughs> um strip the soil completely of uh of, of weeds you'll actually um deteriorate the health of the soil because there's a lot of bugs and a lot of things under under there that need um the weeds and stuff to to you know trap the, the sugar the from the sun and the goodies and, and they let um, off a lot of nice stuff yeah well. yeah so so you actually have a healthier happier soil if you just leave you know don't not, don't completely you know uh get rid of the weeds, weeds completely because um it just makes for a healthier happier soil and also help your happy garden all the little small yeah. guys all the creepy crawlies they're in good form yeah um yeah. so it's all connected so yeah we're trying to we're not expert gardeners I suppose we're just trying to show that, you know, we were in, we were in the city in Cork for ten years and we didn't grow much. No. I think one year we tried some up. I don't know if we grew something up. But anyway, we um, we didn't grow much and um, we always murdered house plants. So yeah. we thought, oh God, how are we going to do this? And you just learn, like everything in life, you just yeah. have to jump in, Try to... not have any fear. Yeah. Yeah. And just. Sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. And Overall, that's it works okay. out anyway. So. Yeah, I mean, like today I tried to do some weeding and it didn't work. <laughs> the weeds were like so entrenched, it was. Um... Yeah, the, the, the soil was a bit hard. So now that we've given it a bit of a watering, oh, it should be easier to dig beetroot. it up more. Oh, it doesn't matter, we'll do it another day. Okay. Beetroot and Seb Percival, who we didn't get on camera, but that's okay. He's really yeah. doing well. He's not been eaten, or we've got him with the protective copper tape. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Guy. And. Um, I found another piece today, actually. Perfect. Bit. So, so that's it, guys. You're having fun, everyone out there. Hope you're getting excited about growing as well, and realizing mm -hmm. that you know there's a growing revolution happening. There's more mm -hmm. young people, young. There's more young people growing now than ever before. Um, well, it used to be everyone growing all the time. Yeah. Just to make a bit more of a connection to the food that you eat, because if you have to grow it, then you understand it, and uh, you know where it's come from. And you know that there's no, you know. Food's not supposed to damage you. It's supposed to nutrify you and yeah. and help you to, uh, to stay achieve, healthy. You know, to achieve your full physical potential. Yeah. And, so give it a, give it a go. That's what we did, and uh, you know, we don't uh, we don't become a slave to the garden. We don't make it all of our no, life or anything. No, we try not to. So uh, we kind of do do uh, just keep our keep our hands in, and obviously the rate of growth here is crazy. So that's I'm really glad that we did a stream today. So it's just giving a bit of a fresh look to the garden, but. Everything's really happy and if you can grow plants like mint that just take over uh, an area and you're going to have less weeds. So. Okay. Thanks for watching guys yeah, and um, it. hope you're enjoying Thank you for subscribing the summer as well. Ciao. Ciao. So what have we found here guys? Oh, the, the grapes have gone from very very small to nice big juicy globules of distilled water and vitamins and minerals micronutrients. What a lovely, lovely, lovely bunch of fragoline. If you, if you shine them, look the dust that protects the um, the grape from all kinds of 
invaders. Mm -hmm. Comes off and it has a really, really shiny black grape. It's absolutely beautiful and it tastes also quite delicious. Because, nice. because these grapes are, are wild, or very close to the wild, they haven't been selectively bred within an inch of their life and haven't been genetically modified to remove the seeds. The skin is slightly thick, but you know, it's good. It's good for you. But um, it's very, they're very, very delicious and very sweet. Look at these dark guys here that I found. Yeah. Look at that. Absolutely so beautiful. I'm those now for breakfast. So I'm going to steal this today. one. Try him. And uh, yeah, literally millions of them. I mean, oh God, so this whole thing goes all the way from behind the carport all the way to here. So we must have, what? How many bunches of would you get? 107, 2,000. Oh. There's them. Um, they're about 15 years old, aren't they? These, um... Yeah, this is the first time we've actually let it grow without without actually trimming it, without um, paring them down over the winter. We just let it go wild and let it grow then this spring and summer over this part. Uh, these, these, the retta here. What are they called retta in English? Fence or something? Uh, and basically... Uh, I'm going to look at this one. They're really healthy looking. They're really, and they've, and they've actually produced grapes earlier than usual. So, which are really on. This is my favorite bunch there. There's two actually. This one looks gorgeous. They look, they just look fake. <laughs> are you real? Did somebody put a plastic grapes that stuck it up with super glue? <laughs> People in the comments are like, you guys just missing. You just got these from Tesco. Stuck on. Oh my God, they're so nice. There you go, Chair. Yeah, they're really rich. Mm. Warm from this afternoon I sun. No. Mm. Mm. That's addictive. And the um mm. if you don't mind the seeds and you, I just I just swallow them, I don't even bother spinning off. Then it's just a delicious old old mm. grape. The skin's a little bit perfect. This one here is beautiful as well. So a few of them are maturing at different times, so we yeah, can kind of like pick and choose. Trees. It's right. great, it's great. We don't want them to all come together because we're not going to make wine or anything like yeah. that. So, you know, we want to be eating them. They're eating grapes. So they'll just keep producing and then we'll just pick them as they, as they ripen. And just these are kind of, yeah, these look nearly raisins. They're, they're nearly raisins, almost. Look at that. I might just, an ant's trying to attack me because he's like, that was my grape. <laughs> I was saving that. And I'm going to eat it. So is it candy-ish? Is it sour? Is it sweet? It's actually nice. Yeah. Mm. And obviously the seeds are still there in the, in the middle, right? Yeah. But it's, is it sweeter or is it sour? It's like a raisin. Yeah. That's really odd. Yeah. It's sun dried. So yeah, guys, we planned this. So we're at McCoy's video mm. making raisins. Isn't it weird? Yeah. It's really nice. It's just like a raisin. Yeah. It's sweet it's like really a raisin. It's really odd, isn't it? You all see the water is all. It's just desiccated at this stage. Mm. All the water is removed, so all the sweetness oh God, is all that's left. All the sugars. Well, do you know what I might do? Is I might. I might try and um, dry some of these at home. Sure, why not? Oh, that one's not good. That wasn't good. You have to be careful bitter. which ones you wear. Uh, oh, you don't want the I green ones to be dried. Anyway. So lovely. You polish the kind of powdery stuff off the top, off the outside, and then. Oh, I did that one. Mm. So good. Yeah, this one. Thank you.